All right, let's take a look at what is new in Obsidian 065, which came out last night. It's Monday morning. I came out Sunday night, Sunday, and I just didn't get to it because it was that type of day. So due to popular demand, we now have inline LaTeX support. I didn't realize what it was, but we need to have it. Perfect. I don't actually use LaTeX. I wouldn't even know how to. LaTeX is a language. I know that. It's like a... There you go. Uh, LaTeX support. General help LaTeX. There you go. LaTeXproject.org help. You have LaTeX support. If you need that, then you probably know what it is. If you don't know what it is, then you probably don't need it. Uh, it's a document layout. You can actually like write fold books with it if you really want. Uh, I do know that. But they have LaTeX support. Cool. I'm not sure what I'll use it for. Help docs everywhere now. Uh, they're in the vault chooser. They're in settings. They're in a whole bunch of different stuff. So one of the cool things now you get is actually you click help. It brings up the whole help documentation. You don't actually have to load all the help documentation into your um, like into your own vault anymore. You used to have to do that. You can see I had it at one point and I taken it out like there was a right here, um, another vault or another uh, folder. So if you even go into open other vault, you can see I have three vaults now. I have the uh, application support. I have the Obsidian one. Uh, I have a test second vault. I just opened it once. Uh, there's nothing in it. And then I have this. And there's more help text in here as well, which is cool. Uh, we added an option to open in preview mode by default with a customizable hotkey. So let's just hop into our settings and go to hotkeys. And it's somewhere in here. Open quick switcher, open graph view, open today's note, random note, navigate back and forward, dark theme, light theme, current file, search current file. All right. Okay. Replace current file, open settings, split vertical, horizontal. Toggle default view mode right there. That would be it right there. I don't have a need for it, to be honest. I use toggle edit preview with uh, Command-E is just what I do. But well, you can adjust that if you want now. Next up, close the file explorer. Um, we made significant speed improvement, perfect, with large numbers of notes. I think they said around 2,000. I don't actually even know how many notes I have right now. I can go in here. How would I figure that out easily? Obsidian. Uh, how many notes are in there? Uh, I'll go like this. It's probably the fastest way. 263. So a red icon comes up. 263. So how many notes I have? 264 maybe right now, uh, depending on how my sync setup has gone. There's also been significant speed improvements in large documents with preview mode. Perfect. Uh, help docs now appear in the default directory. Cool. So that's why mine was in application support when we open this, right? This is the default directory right there, library application support Obsidian. So that'll vary depending on your operating system, but it is there now. Uh, embedded attachment files don't show up in graph view. So what you used to get, and you shouldn't see this now, is like, so book template is fine. That's like just a single file uh, for my book notes template. Um, but you used to get like, I don't know, a little one over here, you'd get it have like, just like a JPEG file. So nothing nothing really useful. It'll just be like a useless JPEG off on its own. And you don't have that now, which is cool. A um, bunch of aesthetic improvements. Now when you embed a PDF, let's open this. I have a TOC. It's called Devon Think 3 Book. I thought that was in there. It's not. So let me maybe open up Devon Think because I know it's in there. Let's just embed a PDF. There it is right there. Oh, it might be indexing. I may have actually updated and it might not actually be there anymore. Nope. Okay, so. Do I have any PDFs here? That works for me. Drop it in. Preview mode. Perfect. So it does, it embeds for me, which is great. Now you can see it. You used to just have like nothing under here. So you'd have the link to the file and see what happens when you click it now too. Nothing out right there. This whole area should be clickable, I think. Um, open a default app. Perfect. And that's preview on this computer. And now you can hear my wife making a smoothie upstairs maybe. 
Let's see what else is new in Obsidian. Uh, six five should do it. There you go. Uh, in the community themes tab, there's now a switch to see only themes that are compatible with the mode you're in. I don't actually know what that does, but the community themes tab is under your settings. Community themes, light mode only. Okay, so I could like say, hey, only light mode themes. There you go. I still like the 80s theme. I think it's cool. Clearly, because I'm still using it. Um, it's interesting. There's emojis in there. I didn't know you could do that. Now, there's a bunch of stuff that's no longer broken. Some CSS issues, some rendering issues, rare issue where nested lists cause linked panes. And there's a couple of known issues. So this would be a known issue because it's in the Insiders build already at 0 0.66 uh, .6 and not in the uh, build for everyone else yet. So that's why it's a known issue that's already fixed. There's a bunch of other ones. You can explore those on your own. So in all in all, a decent uh, little upgrade, um, mostly resolving some stuff. Again, adding latex is probably the biggest one. If you don't need it, eh. I think the biggest one for me is embedding that PDF, which is cool, because uh, I'll take notes on that PDF for Dev and Think eventually. Um, and the embedded attachment file is not showing up in graph view. You would have just a bunch of random images, right? And here now I still have some, uh, what's new in Obsidian 6.5, and this disturbed and Deceived by the surface eye, that's just, I don't even need that file. I don't even know what it's for. Delete. Uh, right. So you shouldn't have, so I, my 065 is still on its own right here. I guess I still have Obsidian SVG. Weird. Another file I don't need. Delete file. That MD. Uh, that might be a single markdown file. It might be just a rel relic of uh, older stuff when I needed that around. I have my date notes, but our graph view is cleaning up nicely. Um, part of this is also me just cleaning up my graph notes so that I am just doing a better job of taking notes. I'm going back through a bunch of my other uh, books and retaking my notes. There'll be a screencast on that coming already. I actually walk you through this on Friday. Uh, it'll come out in a bit. Uh, taking most of my notes on this second mountain by David Brooks. Uh, I walk you through the whole process for that. Um, yeah, and you can see I already have some notes on how to take smart notes in here, uh, but I still have more to go through for finishing off that book. Overall, I'm happy. Uh, I when I first started looking at the, at Rome, really, I looked at Rome and was like, "Oh, I have to have to get in there." And then Obsidian came across my desk, and I don't feel the need at all to look at Rome uh, specifically. Uh, in big, in large part, because they have. Um, or with with Obsidian, you own all your notes, and you don't own all your notes with Rome. They have them all. I mean, they may say like, "Oh, you can have them," but you don't actually have them in your possession. So, I am less inclined to love Rome, and Obsidian's cool. That's it. If you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe. And if you really loved the channel, then you can go to Curtis McHale. Uh, Curtis McHale. You can go to CurtisMcHale.ca anyways. Just like subscribe via RSS to the site. But Patreon.com slash Curtis McHale will let you support the channel. Have an excellent day.